Welcome to the 6 o'clock gaming news. I'm your anchor, Cole, because it's freezing out. In local news today, Hindrance Gaming decides to knock one more character off of his Tekken 4 story mode completion. Today, it's Kuma the Bear. Now, Kuma is the personal bodyguard of Haihachi Mishima, the head of the Mishima Zaibatsu, the evil corporation currently running the world. Now, many of you might be wondering, what does a bear have to do with karate? Well, from there, the situation gets a bit hairy. You see, Kuma is actually the second bodyguard of Haihachi Mishima and the son of the original Kuma. Kuma the second, if you will, carries on his father's legacy of fighting and napping whenever possible. This bear will absolutely attack when threatened and will take one serious bite out of the competition. This just in, we're getting a special gaming news bulletin. It appears Hindrance Gaming has still not won a single game of Fall Guys, blaming Team Sports for his failures near the end. He is quoted when asked about it and seems quite irritated, claiming, Why are we playing soccer when there are 20 players left? Stay with it, champ. I'm sure you'll get a win eventually. Stay tuned for more of Kuma and his mischief coming up after this. What's up YouTube? My name is Anthony and welcome back to Tekken 4 Story Mode Let's Plays. We're doing Kuma the Bear today. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tekken 4. Kuma. Kuma. I'll let the nice narrator handle this one. After losing to Paul Phoenix in the last tournament, Kuma realized that he had lost touch with his wild instincts. He realized that as long as he remained Heihachi's pet, he would be unable to use his instincts to his advantage. Thus, Kuma trained alone in the mountains of Hokkaido, determined to regain his powers. I see. Life in the wilderness was more brutal than any training Kuma had endured under Heihachi. Despite this, Kuma continued his harsh regimen. He burned with a desire to defeat Paul, his efforts eventually paid off, his skills improved dramatically, and he even developed new attacks of his own. But the one thing Kuma could not give up was his addiction to television. Every so often he went down to the village and watched TV from the villagers' windows. During his second year of training, Kuma went down to the village as usual. While looking through the window of one particular house, he saw a television commercial announcing the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4. Kuma's instincts burned for battle as he headed towards the tournament site. Paul would be at the tournament, and Kuma was determined to defeat him. Determined to defeat Paul. Kuma versus Nina. Round one. Fight. <laughs>
No, Kuma's hilarious. Uh, if you see in the round one, if you Fight. see in like cutscenes, Tekken uh, 3, 4. I've never played 5. That's Tekken 6 and 7. Kuma's always had this like hilarious, really sarcastic personality. Oh, there it is. My brother is nasty with Kuma. He knows all the hilarious, like, you win. just powerful, like, round two. And that's one of them. Fight. But that one's hard to hit because you got to charge it pretty much. You do it. So that's the, that quick one right there. He always hits me with that one. Oh, here we go. King against my favorite. Round one. Fight. Battle of the, uh, of the end. I'm sorry. This is like the second time fighting you. Round one. Fight. This is like fighting so far. This is just like a battle of your Daniel and I best. We just went through twice. Dang. I'm trying to remember there's a... 
think you have to do it here on the ground. There's a grapple where, like, you can Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Continue. Just not good. Just not good. I'm sorry. Round one. Fight. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Round one. Tell me that's not fair. Fight. And he's so powerful, so he can attack the man. What? That was just a good thing. It's like 20% punch. He's so powerful. Oh, that was the finisher there. What was that? Is that like a Russian dance? A Russian bear dance or something? You win. It's hilarious. I don't even know how I did that. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that's, that's all she wrote. Are you kidding? Why wouldn't you just punch me once? You win. I'm sorry, that was amazing. Here it is. This is the big one. This is Paul Phoenix. Round this is one. His rival. Who was Fight. also his father's rival. For whatever reason, the very first Tekken one, because you know, I, I haven't played Tekken 1 and 2 or 3. 1 and 2 I played, I was 2 or 3 years old. I played on my parents and played Tekken 3. Tekken 3, I was 6, Red House. So I don't know if you lose round 3 points in myself. Fight. But for whatever reason, I had to first bodyguard there his father had a rivalry with Paul Phoenix because his father was dead he continues the rivalry and lost to a third and the reviewer's training this is you lose nothing like a good workout continue Round one. Fight. Oh, I know. That's if you're someone who's like playing me, you want to play me like reverse sides with me like that, and you automatically win. like once all controls get like reverse like that, I'm trash. Oh. If he would have landed that, it was game. But I landed mine first. Got it. You win. That was like two. Fight. Do something. I hit. I was hitting the attack. One kick and I was like half of my health. I want to talk about overpowered overpowered you round. Fight. Like basic punches and kicks. Like he has a very simplistic style of karate stuff. It's not any like Crazy combos and still like punches and kicks and more. Yes, I'll take it. I don't, I don't know how. I'll take that. You win. Alright, completed my goal. Defeated Paul Phoenix. And now we gotta fight the master. Diaper man. Me say tomorrow could try. Round one. Fight. This is gonna be this is You lose round two. Fight.
I like going into these blind for each character. Round one. Down fight. There it is. I've been trying to do that entire Wow. Anyway, it, it's, it's very challenging. Fight. It's also probably be a lot more land practice. That was high risk, man. If I hit that. How did that? Oh, I was behind I'm gonna waste having landed that boss. Oh, 
got him. After defeating Paul and winning the tournament, Kuma set his sights on a new goal. Grr, I'm gonna try my paw at corporate management. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Kuma, yo. Sono kiyakusho ni boin yo osera ya. So the last one, Ahachi was trying to trick Kuma into back. all of the assets of the Mishima Zaibatsu, but Kuma's not that dumb. Alright, that will do it for this one. That was Kuma's story. Who will I play next? Probably Yoshimitsu, because I thought I already did so, and I didn't. So with that, we'll see you next time. Peace.